Life is a collection of moments. At Streamline Media, we help you capture and share them all. For all your live stream, photography, videography, content creation, and social media management needs, contact Streamline Media. We cater for all events, including weddings, graduations, funerals, parties, and much more. Are you ready to capture life's most heartfelt moments? To share your story and events with the world, call us at 876-918-3299 or 876-413-7734. Email streamline876 at gmail.com or visit us on all social media platforms at LFH Inspire TV. Streamline Media, capturing moments, connecting audiences.
Life is a collection of moments. At Streamline Media, we help you capture and share them all. For all your live stream, photography, videography, content creation, and social media management needs, contact Streamline Media. We cater for all events, including weddings, graduations, funerals, parties, and much more. Are you ready to capture life's most heartfelt moments? To share your story and events with the world, call us at 876-918-3299 or 876-413-7734. Email streamline876 at gmail.com or visit us on all social media platforms at LFH Inspire TV. Streamline Media, capturing moments, connecting audiences.
moment. At Streamline Media, we help you capture and share them all. For all your live stream, photography, videography, content creation, and social media management needs, contact Streamline Media. We cater for all events, including weddings, graduations, funerals, parties, and much more. Are you ready to capture life's most heartfelt moments? To share your story and events with the world, call us at 876-918-3299 or 876-413-7734. Email streamline876 at gmail.com or visit us on all social media platforms at LFH Inspire TV. Streamline Media, capturing moments, connecting audiences. and dreams that are yet to come true. 
from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my
song we could ever sing Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe We'll live for you, oh, we'll live for you Jesus, the name above every other name Jesus, the only one who could ever say Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe We'll live for you
into your hands I commit again with all I am for you Lord you hold my word in the palm of your hand and I Just what is it in me? Sometimes I just don't know What keeps me in your love? Why you never let me go? And though you're in me now I fall and hurt you still My Lord, please show me how To know just how you feel You have forgiven me so many times it seems I feel I'm not what you might call A worthy Christian after all And though I love you so Temptation finds its way to me Teach me to trust you with all of my heart To lead
given me too many times it seems I feel I'm not what you might call a worthy Christian after all and though I love you so temptation finds its way to me teach me to trust you with all of my heart to lead Teach me to trust you with all of my heart To lean not on my own understanding I just forget You won't give me what I can't bear Take me out of the dark, my lord I don't want to be there
Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. We are about to start the service at this moment. We ask all those on the outside, please come in. Let's all stand, please. I am the resurrection and the life, said the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. For we know that if our earthly house of these tabernacles were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. We brought nothing into this world, and it certainly we can carry out nothing. The Lord gave and the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm just gonna repeat the twenty-third Psalms. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercies shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God bless you, moderate. Pleasant afternoon, everyone. I am Candice, and I'll be your moderator for today. You know, when I was asked to do the moderating, I gladly said yes, because I heard it was at a chapel. Didn't expect to see so much person, so excuse me if I'm a little bit nervous today. Amen, somebody? Amen. Hallelujah, somebody? Amen. Come on, man, get in the attitude of worshiping. Come on, you're not the dead. Hallelujah, somebody? Let us worship God, somebody. I would like to start off here by singing a lively chorus so you can get in the mood. Hallelujah. We are together again, just praising the Lord. We are together again, in one accord. Something good is going to happen, something good is in store. We are together again, just praising the Lord. We are together again, just praising the Lord. We are together again, in one accord. Something good is going to happen, something good is in store. We are together again, just praising the Lord. Hallelujah. As program follows, we will go along and for the opening hymn on your program, you see there is a land beyond the river. We'll sing from our program. 
There's a land beyond the river that we call the sweet forever. And we only reach that shore by faith we creep. One by one we gain the portal, there to dwell with the immortal. When the world is filled and built for you and me. Just beyond the shining river When the rain goes golden bells for you and me We shall know no sin, no sorrow In the heaven of tomorrow When a bark red shall sail beyond the silver sea We shall only know the blessing Of a father's sweet caressing when the ring goes gold and bells for you and me. Don't you hear the bells there ringing? Don't you hear the angels singing? It's a glory, hallelujah, jubilee. In that fire sweet forever, just beyond the shining river. When the ring goes gold and bells for you and me. When I bless your the number, in the dead we sleep this summer. When the king commands the spirit to be free. No more weed and wish laden, we shall reach the love the Eden. When the ring goes gold and bells for you and me. Don't you hear the bells go ringing? Don't you hear the angels singing? It's a glory, hallelujah, to believe. In that far of sweet forever, just beyond the shining river. When the ring goes gold and bells for you and me. Don't you hear the bells go ringing? Don't you hear the angels singing? It's a glory, hallelujah, to believe. In the fire of sweet forever, just beyond the shining river. When the ring goes gold for you and me. Hallelujah. At this time we call upon our pastor Finnegan to come and do the opening prayer. Praise the Lord Jesus as our stand at this moment. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Our God and our Father, we thank you Lord Jesus for the bread of life. Lord, as we come, God Almighty, in this fashion at this moment, Lord Jesus, we pray that you may take full control. Comfort, Lord Jesus, save every heart today. Lord God Almighty, take full control. We are depending upon you, Lord, because there is no other one we can depend on but you. Bless now, sanctify, let your name be glorified. Have your way now. As I say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Is Mr. Edmund Elliott ready with the first listen? Good afternoon. Could you please stand for the reading of God's word? Scripture reading will be taken from 1 John 4, verse 18 to 21. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear. Because fear hath torment, he that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. 
if a man say, I love God and hate his brother, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, who, who he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him that he loveth God, love his brother also. This is the reading of God's word, and we honor it by saying, Hallelujah, Jesus. Selection from Miss Marsha Elliott. Good afternoon, everyone. Dear my friend, Sharon and Mamit are all that you have with Rocketony. These who we love don't. <laughs> Share and memories are all that you have with Rocketony. These who we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day. Unseen, unheard, but always here. Still loved, still missed, and held so dear. Remember, angels are always near to those who are grieving. To whisper to them that their loved one are safe in the hands of God. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we serve. Almighty God, we serve. Angels bow before Him. Him, what the mighty God we serve. Come on, sense, put your hands together. We serve, what the mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him, heaven and earth above Him. Hallelujah. Come to us again with a second lesson from Mrs. R. Sutton from St. John 3, 16 to 19. Miss R. Sutton. Good afternoon, everyone. The second lesson today is taken from St. John 3. I'll be reading from verse 16 to 19. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should perish, should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Because he not believe he that because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Here endeth a portion of God, God's holy word, and we honor it by saying, be to God. Amen. Amen. And we'll go into some tributes as followed on the program. Mrs. Monica Murray. Pastor F. Hoggart and Mr. Nicole Young, come in that order, please. <coughs> Mrs. Monica Murray? Anyone here? Pastor Hoggart? You are? Good afternoon, everyone. 
afternoon. I think this afternoon you will join with me to say that um, life is a journey. Yes. And someday the journey will have an end. And today we can say that um, Charles Elliot, which is also known as Rocky to us in Cave Mountain, has ended his journey. But there are some words here I really have in mind to describe Rocky. He was a genuine person. If he make a plan with you to do something for you, you can count on him. He was helpful, he was kind, he was generous. And let me say why I say he was a very kind person. The people of Cape Mountain will tell you if Rocky plant is grown, you can just see Rocky at the side and say, beg your piece of yam. Every day you see Rocky digging his ground to give somebody a piece of yam or cutting a banana or a plantain. Some of the other workers will say, that's all Rocky know if you do give away sitting them in high place. Because Rocky is always a kind person giving. You, hear, you see him pack up a fine bag with yam, banana, going down to Savlama. He has some friends there or up White House to give something. That was Rocky. Rocky was also helpful. And Tao will agree with me and many other persons here from Cape. When you have your cow and him get away, call Rocky. Rocky will tell you, say, me are the best pan cow, man. Me can't catch any Mr. Cow. Me say, Rocky, stop being foolish, this man. And the cow broke off of your gun. Rocky say, who, me? No, nah, run. Watch it for you. Give me a rope. Let me help you catch a cow, man. I tell you something. <laughs> he back up the cow and the cow make off for Rocky. Rocky is the first one. <laughs> Rocky run, gun. And Rocky say, I know that, you know. Me got to know my cow buck me. <laughs> that was Rocky. And I'll tell you also, different from being kind and helpful, Rocky was a person like this. You can't go anywhere with him, I'm afraid, you know. I call him a big friend, but Rocky says, stay there. You can't go anywhere, man, I'm afraid, because guess what? Me can't defend myself well, so I'll give you a joke. He always been at sharing shop. <laughs> and gunmen pop in. Because Rocky claims say I'm not run from no boy, no girl. And when the gunmen then pop in, nobody see where Rocky turn. One man say, listen to me, I only feel a breeze blow against me. And next man say, you only hear a man call to him and I want to shop, but the man say, him and then gone. <laughs> so I saw him the day after and I said, Rocky, tell me about the history, no man. I said, me here, I said, nothing could have followed you, not even bull. Rocky said, hey, listen to me, man, I'm going to me, I don't know, me, I got to up. You stay there. <laughs> that was Rocky. And I'm sure that he's sadly missed by the people of Cave Mountain because he was friendly. You always come by me and call my daughter. My daughter's name is Nelia, and he will say, Telia, from she was a baby. He said, Telia? Oh, you do, Telia? You know, always friendly, checking out on his friends, and he's always caring about his friends. So I'm saying at this time to those who are here, because I always invite him to church, and only two times Rocky turned up to church. And before Rocky died, I said to Rocky, Rocky, are you going to turn your life over to the Lord? Rocky said, me soon come, man, just wait. Me say, Rocky, soon come, make hay. While the sun shines. And unfortunately, he took sick. And now he's here. So I'm saying to us here today, seek the Lord before time changes for eternity. God bless you. Amen. Anyone else? If the other person is not here, we will move right into the open. Good afternoon. Yeah. All right, for those who don't know me, I am precious. 
Rocky Big Brother. No, I, I, the older one, Rocky, and I was the one who always used to, used to be Rocky. Rocky used to be bad. Rocky was, Rocky was a easy person. One thing in Rocky, Rocky have the most friend you can think about. Yes. And Rocky is not so much a family person. He's a friendly person. Everybody is it for whether it's his family, his brother. Rocky is that type of person. Um, Rocky, uh, what, I, what I'm going to miss most about Rocky is when um, I come on vacation. I say, Rocky, what you have for me? I always, like this sister say, I always come with something in a bag. Whether I am a bread food or something, but Rocky always show up with something. And then he always give me a phone call. I get the most phone call from Rocky. Good call. What you say? When you come, <laughs> how is Dell and he picking them? You see? And do what I think. I mean, he would call me like every other day. Sometimes I look at him and say, Rocky, call me, I'm about to answer him today. <laughs> but Rocky was a very friendly, friendly person. And all of us, as brothers and sisters, we, have, we, we never have a problem with Rocky. Never a problem because Rocky loves everybody. It doesn't matter whether it's family or not. And you have a job to do your car. If you can't find him, because it's very hard to find sometimes. And now he's gone. I just want to say something to everybody here that about our loved ones. Our loved ones are given to us for a season. Yes. We only have them around for a while. And what we should do, we should love them, love each other, cherish your loved ones. Don't wait until they're in the coffin, you come and get out and say, oh, may well, rest in peace. God put us here to help each other. We cannot save the world, but we can help somebody sometime. And Rock is a typical example. Thank you very much. Let everything that I've built praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, I stand here proudly to present the Pattison and the Jones family. I am Mrs. Jones, and Mr. Jones is at the back. So, on behalf of the Pattison and Mr. Jones, I would like to render this item. You've been in the storm. And it seems like forever You're not of confusion I've been so long Your ship has lost anchor And the same got to drift Hold on to Jesus And I ride out to storm Can I do one more time? Been in the storm And it seems like forever You're not of confusion
you storm. Remember his promise. He said, never forsake you. Though the water is a trouble, dead to you no one. Don't give up the battle. For your answer is coming. Just hold on to Jesus. Just ride out your storm. Sing with me. Ride out your storm. God is there with you. Say you may not feel it, but you're not alone. You're hurting now, but your morning is coming. Just hold on to Jesus. Just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on, my friends. Hold on to Jesus. Yes, just hold on to Jesus and ride out your storm. Thank you. Good morning, good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon. I am a friend of Raki. I'm from Cave Mountain as well. And I just want to extend my sincere condolences to the family of Raki. I know that you have missed your loved ones, but remember, God understands what you're going through, and our prayers are with you at this time. I just want to sing this song to comfort the hearts of the family members. Tempted and tried were of me to wonder why should it be thus all the day long when there are others Living about me, never molested, doing the wrong. Father alone will know all about it. Father alone will understand why. by and by when death has come and taken your love once it leaves your home so lonely and dread while there are others living about them never Just 
cheer up my brother living above me he'll understand it all by and by hallelujah hallelujah you know i was listening to the tribute and I was thinking, you know, I know the name Rocky to me before I even know who it was. And as the sister from Cave was saying that he was always running and he was always swift. I'm hoping that somebody will come up here today and let us know why he got that name Rocky to me because I guess he was a rocket. Because of his swift running, he was always running. They knew that he would be a runner. But you know, his name go a far away because as I said, I knew the name before I even knew the person because he had some history and there are some persons around us who like to tell us about some history. Is the person Nikai here as yet? Good evening, everyone. Yeah, I'm Rocky, brother, electric. Everybody know me at that. Yes. Me, me and Rocky come from a long way. When we're growing up, nobody know we're different. We create the most trouble. But we still love people. Yes, and respect people. How we, how we get in here, Rocky? We love the river. We're there the river every day. So one day, me and Rocky, there the river, they're fishing. Two white men coming up the river with some camera. So they see here in the river. One man got the side of the river with a long pole. Another one got the other side with a camera. The man with the camera said, rock to me and rock to you. <laughs> me, me and Rocky, they, they watch them. All day we follow them up Mayfield Falls. All the white man say, rock to me and rock to you. And they take a picture. Rocky go to, go to Williamsville School. And Rocky grab up, get up a crowd. Everybody pay a little money. We say, rock to me. Rocky say, rock to me. And rock to you. <laughs> Everybody give him a little money. And that name stick to him. But he didn't stick to him alone. For me, I'm looking like he stick to me. I live in America, 42 years. And when I drive down the road, I hear somebody say, Rocky, Rocky. I look out the window and watch somebody from West Moreland. Yeah, so that's how we get the name. Yeah, Rocky was my brother. And me and Rocky, we really live loving. When I come here, anyway, Rocky there, anyway, I have to find him before I leave. The last time I come here last year, I go look for Rocky up a cave. Rocky said, man, me have a yam, you know, down a gully. But me a die Ricky way there. Take me my shit. And I said, Eddie Maya with you, he will show you where they are. And he direct me and we go down here and get the yard when they come back. He said, you find him. He said, yeah, man. He said, that's good. And the last time he said, Rocky. Rocky call me every day, America. Every day and say, Electric, me call you back tomorrow, man. <laughs> and he just called to me today. Tomorrow the phone ring again. He talk, talk. Oh, you, oh yes, dear. You all right? I said, yeah, man. He said, me call back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I have to hide from Rocky, but I still my brother and I miss him. Yeah, thank you very much. Any more tributes? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, today, we gather here to pay respect to our loving cousin. And um, sitting here and me not doing something, I'm sure some family members wouldn't be, wouldn't be pleased with me. But uh, I want to say Rocky is not with us today. And for those of us who are here and have not yet surrendered their life to Christ. I'm going to ask you to do so. 
on the 16th of September, I was at a funeral service. After singing, I went down and I woke up in the hospital. I got a mild stroke. I think Rocky was in the hospital too. And when I went on the ward uh, two days later, I went searching for him. I saw a Rasta man looking like him, but it wasn't him. I heard he went home. So I'm saying that God loves me so much, he gives me another chance to, for me to be here today to see him home. So I want to tell us today, live each day as if it is the last day. None of us know the minute or the hour that our number will come. I dream of a city called glory, so bright and so fair. As I enter the gates, I cried holy, the angels all met me there, they carried me from mention. To mention and all the sights that saw. I said, I want to see Jesus. The I cried holy, I cried holy, I clasp my hands and sing glory, I sing glory to the Son of God. As I enter the gates of the city, my loved ones, they all knew me well. So they took me down the streets of heaven. Far too many to tell. I saw Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. I spoke with Mark and Timothy. But say, Timothy, I want to see Jesus, for is the one who died for me, and I bowed on my knees and cried holy. I cried holy, hey, Lord, 
tell you oh, 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 oh. I clasp my hands and sing glory I sing glory I sing glory to the Son of God. Hallelujah. Rocky is gone, but you are here. When we leave here this evening, there is no guarantee that you will reach your home safe. So I'm saying to you, my brothers and my sisters, with no apology, the opportunity is now. The opportunity is now. My sister said she invited him to church, but it's not none of us. It's none of us can say that he did not make it. None of us know we leave everything to God. So I'm asking you, please, I beseech thee, please, I beseech thee. I know where I'm coming from. I know what happens to me. Who feels it knows it. I'm speaking from personal experience. And I'm trying to live. None of us are perfect. But may his soul rest in peace. And light perpetually shine upon my cousin. God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. God is good. I grew up with Rocky to me at Glen Brooks. My brother Ethan, Liebert, Septon, Big One, Little One, me Little One. And when we were little, we used to go to River with my brother, with Poppy, Carol, and Miss Varys, had to daughter. So one day we go to River with Rocky to me, and Rocky to me said, Who was the fastest swimmer? Liebert couldn't swim. Septon couldn't swim. Me couldn't swim. And one day he said to me, say, come out there, so tell me about this stuff. And we go out there. We go out, we can't come back out. We can't laugh at the week. When we were going to Hillbrook School, we could, they couldn't know each other. Because one used left hand and one used right hand. So Rocky to me used to see me and say, we shall know little shit. I wish I would know a big shit. So he always had trouble when we were little. So sometimes we ball and sometimes we are ball. So one day, we go home and we tell mama, say, rock it to me, call him, say, no, you rock it to me, I'm fine, rock it to me. But him and my brother, Ethan and he was very, very good friend. Rock it to me was a kind person. Sometimes, at even time, when we look, we see rock it to me, I come with one whole bag of mango, I come for my yard, I come and give mama, can you have some one green gate, she had one of that, she didn't buy that, she didn't. So, we go up with rock it to me, and we know me rock it to me as a bad person. Tell the God truth, because we grow with him, a green book, son. But me, I tell you, say, he was kind and he was helpful. So may his soul rest in peace. Hallelujah. 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 You know, the song that the gentleman sang just now, I don't know it. But you see, when the spirit of the Lord is upon you, when you are filled with the Holy Ghost and you sing a song for God, it makes a difference. You don't just sing ordinary because he was not just singing because of the dead, but he was singing under the unction of the anointing. I felt like I was in a praise and worship morning session. I wanted to run from where I was standing and just jump, but I remember I'm in a funeral. I don't know, you come here sad and looking like... There is not a God. When the gentleman sang a while ago, he didn't sing about the dead, but he sing about a Jesus Christ. He sing about a God that he is for the dead and he is for the living. I just want to jump. I just wanted to shout because truly the presence of the Lord is in this place. Not because it is a funeral service, but God is in here with us. You can open your mouth and you can give God a praise. I don't shout. I don't mean to shock. I don't mean to frighten you, but I'm telling you that the presence of the Lord is in here. You don't have to act all push. You don't have to act all nice because we are in a pre-funeral service. 
if you're still alive and you're not dead and you have all right to praise God, you may not know when he's coming. You don't know when it is your time. But you see, while you're here, I'm telling you, give God thanks. It's not about being perfect. It's not about living a perfect life. It's not about doing everything right. But it is having a relationship with you and your God. Because you see, after this man is buried or whatever is going to happen after here, you don't know what is going to happen. Nobody will talk about him after a period of time. But you see, you who are here know somebody will be talking about you. You don't know what they will be saying but somebody will be talking about you you don't need to act as if God is not real because if somebody died it does not mean that God is not real I can tell you, I said, I feel the presence of the Lord. It may not be one of the usual church session or settings, but I can tell you, I feel the presence of the Lord in this place. Come on, somebody, just go ahead and worship God. Because you see, when the pastor comes to preach the sermon, he's not going to preach to the dead, but he's going to preach to the living. Because you see, when you come on to the dead, there is no repentance. But you see, who, who is alive and you who is here know you have a chance. Because you don't know when the master may put in his appearance. I don't mean to preach on you today. But I just feel good. I just feel good to know that my God is still alive. And he can show up even into a funeral service. Hallelujah. We are going straight into our offering. Hallelujah right now. Okay. Good afternoon. Um, my name was called earlier, so I apologize for the late appearance. Um, Nico Young, that's my name. And I never ever thought that this day would come because I have known Rocky for years. Like, maybe from I was about maybe age eight or nine, and we got close over the years based on business and other transactions. And I've heard other persons say it, that he was kind. I can say that he was very kind. He's the type of person who will give away everything that he has. And you say, Rocky, so what are you going to use for yourself? And he say, I'll be okay. And I remember in 2019 when he, he had a heart attack. And even in that moment, he was saying, don't worry, man, I'll soon be back. And even when he returned, he was still doing his thing and we were entreating him not to take it too hard, but just to relax and ease himself back into things. I used to see him most times on the weekends on the farm. And we joke about a lot of things. And I said, I remember one of the young men saying to him one of the days, No, Rocky, you have to just live a celibate life because you can't manage anything anymore. And Rocky said, No, man, I'm still all right. That is how I know that I'm okay. And when we got certain developments, we were trying our best to intervene before it got worse. But they were like, it's almost as if as they put up one foot on the step, another factor affecting his health caused it to step back down. And I know that the family tried and loved ones tried. And I remember when I, I visited him at home a couple of occasions, but we always talk on the phone. And if you go by the way he sounds on the phone, you, will always, you would believe that he's perfectly fine. But I remember, th think it was sometime before Christmas, I visited him. And we had a conversation. And I can say maybe bridging friends and loved ones and family. When I look at him, the only thing I could say is, God, you have to work out something because it's not looking the way I thought it should look. And the news came. 
the sad news came. But what I can say is, the sadness is, is real. The grief is real. But the memory of who he was, at least in my understanding and appreciation of what I knew, I can say he's missed. We would be working some days and all of a sudden he just pops up. You don't have to call him on his phone. He just know he's like so conscious of his environment. He will just pop up. And he'll pop up. Sometimes he carry ice water. Sometimes he just have a little drinks. Something. But he's the type of person who always looking out for others. And I, I am happy that I would say I think we tried our best. But there is one thing that is appointed unto us. Death. So I would say that is functional. Just as we live, that is a part of the process. With sadness, I will say to the family and the friends who are gathered here, we have good courage, cheer up, support each other as best as possible. And I appreciate the memories of Rocky, and I trust that you will too. Thank you. Amen. As I was saying before, we'll jump right into our offering. Ushers. And we'll be singing from our program for the offering, offering song, Blessed Assurance. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. The in his blood praising my Savior all the day long this is my story this is my song
risen my Savior all the day long. Whether you're ready or not, my Jesus is coming. Whether you're ready or not, he's coming again. Whether you're ready or not, my Jesus is coming. Whether you're ready or not, ready or not, he's coming again. Whether you're ready or not, my Jesus is coming. Whether you're ready or not, he's coming again. Whether you're ready or not, my Jesus is coming, whether you're ready or not, ready or not, he's coming again. So get ready, everybody, get ready. Get ready, everybody, get ready. Cause in the morning you're fresh and blooming, and in the evening you're withered away. Get ready, everybody, get ready. Get ready, everybody, get ready. Cause in the morning you're fresh and blooming, and in the evening you'll be dirt away. Yes, in the morning you're fresh and blooming, and in the evening you'll be dirt away. Say, get ready, everybody, get ready. Get ready, everybody, get ready. Cause in the morning you're fresh and blooming. And in the evening you'll be dirt away. Yes, in the morning you're fresh and blooming. And in the evening you'll be dirt away. Oh, in the morning you're fresh and blooming. And in the evening you'll be dirt away. Hallelujah, we call upon our pastor finishing to bless the offering. Let us all stand, please. Hallelujah. Our God, our Father, we thank you for this moment. Lord Jesus, we pray that you bless each and every one at this moment. Bless his offering and sanctify it. I will say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. At this time, we'll have musical selection. This is A. Forrester, cousin. Is Mrs. Forrester ready? Musical selection.
Because all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able. Of the goodness of God. Come on, somebody sing that good song. Man, if God has been good to you. And all my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able Oh, I will sing Even if I don't sound good today Oh, I will sing Of the goodness of God Amen. And the next voice you'll be hearing this afternoon is our pastor, Pastor Robert Finnegan and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, lift your hand and give God thanks. Hallelujah. We have bread today. Glory to God. And we have all right to give him praise. We have all right to give him thanks. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As Jesus said, from the uprising of the sun to the going of the same, he alone, glory to God, is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Today, glory to God Almighty, we are here gathering at this moment. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Rocky, glory to God, was a man always. When he passed, he said, Morning, sir, or afternoon, ma'am. You know, I'm passing this something. Because what? He was a, such a loving person. Glory to God. But you see here, his chapter have been closed. Glory to God. But you and I, chapter is still here we got to make haste why the sun is still shining glory to god because it's appointed unto man once to die but after death glory to god cometh the judgment jesus came for one purpose to seek and to save that which was lost. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Adam, glory to God Almighty, plunged this world into sin. Glory to God. But Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Glory to God Almighty. Glory to God. So today, glory to God Almighty, we are, hallelujah, we still have the breath still breathing through our nostril. Glory to God Almighty. We, glory to God, can turn our life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Because he said in his word, he rather not the death of a sinner, but all should come to repentance. Uh, glory to God Almighty. You see here in, your, in humanity, you have a friend called Lazarus. Hallelujah. He heard that Lazarus was sick. But he didn't show up at the time. Glory to God. But at the time, glory to God Almighty, when Lazarus was dead, glory to God, he said, glory to God, let us go now that we may wake him from his sleep. Glory to God Almighty. So when Jesus show up, hallelujah, Glory to God. Martha said unto him, Master, hallelujah, if you were here, my brother 
would have not died. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The songwriter catch the vision. He said you may not come when you want him. Hallelujah. But he's always be on time. He's an on time God. Yes he is. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. No matter what the circumstances, no matter the situation may seem to be. Glory to God. He show up at a time where he need him the most. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Because, glory to God, he came for one purpose and he got to fulfill the purpose that he came for. He came to seek and to save that which was lost. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. And as long as there is life, there is hope. There is life for a look at the crucified one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He gave his life and Calvary to redeem us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When he hung here, hallelujah, he said, man, redemption is complete. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Because he came, hallelujah, that he give life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He came, hallelujah, as the lamb. He came as a sacrifice. Glory to God. He came, glory to God, to shed blood for the remission of sins. Glory to God Almighty. So today, you and I can have hope in him. In him we live, we move, and have our being. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The apostle Paul said, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. Uh, but we shall be changed in a moment, uh, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trump of God shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. There gonna be a resurrection. Whether you believe it or not, you're going to be a resurrection. Hallelujah. Because Jesus rose from the dead as an example. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. For us to realize that there is going to be a resurrection. And every eye shall behold him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because when he were, hallelujah, going out, glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. He was standing, gazing. He's glory to God. The angel said, he man of Galilee, why stand he gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which you see go up, is coming down back in like manner glory to God almighty hallelujah brothers and sisters the only thing we have on this earth is our one soul and if we lose it we lose it all hallelujah because no matter how much riches you have none cannot go with you in the grave Hallelujah. The riches is just from Mother Earth. Uh, glory to God. But your soul is more precious uh, to God who gave it. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. From glory to God. From man, glory to God Almighty. Breathe the breath of life. Uh, God Almighty. Glory to God. A man became a living soul. The soul of man is precious to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. The soul is valuable. Glory to God. 
and regards to understand that every eye shall behold him face to face in all of his glory hallelujah glory to god almighty hallelujah when you got to understand when you got a relationship with him hallelujah to god almighty it makes a difference glory to god he put a song in your heart hallelujah the melody hallelujah to god almighty we got to understand that we got to be here to meet him whether we're ready or not Jesus is still coming whether we prepare or not he is still coming hallelujah he said repentance and remission of sins must be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem hallelujah the scriptures say without the shedding of blood, there would be no remission of sins. Hallelujah. Glory to God. To Jesus shed blood. Hallelujah. Glory to God. To wash away the sin of stain. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because the prophecy will have to fulfill. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the scripture, the seed of the woman shall bruise the serpent head and shall crush his heel. Glory to God Almighty. He has to come to hallelujah a woman glory to God almighty to fulfill the prophecy hallelujah glory to God Isaiah prophesied about him glory to God almighty behold a virgin can see and bear hallelujah and son and his name hallelujah glory to God shall be called Emmanuel glory to God which is uh, interpret God with us Hallelujah. Glory to God. The scripture said, without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Hallelujah. God was manifest in the flesh. Glory to God Almighty. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because what? He is God all by himself. There is none before him none beside him hallelujah he alone is god hallelujah glory to god almighty when he show up he glory to god it make a difference hallelujah when he show up it makes a difference he said oh it's a difference since jesus passed by I cannot explain it. I cannot tell why. It must be a difference. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Because what? He came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. So we got to understand that the first step to salvation is repentance. And the second step, glory to God, is emerging water to be buried in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you must receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God Almighty. Because what? He already said it and it shall be so. Glory to God. Prepare to meet him. Glory to God. Nobody know what the next minute, not the next hour may be. Glory to God. But make your calling an election sure. Glory to God. Prepare your soul to meet him. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. There are some people today don't believe that you're going to be a resurrection. Glory to God Almighty. But every eye is going to see Jesus in all of his glory hallelujah glory to god almighty so we got to prepare to meet him we got to hallelujah to god almighty and set our mind on him because what 
is coming back again with his hand full of reward to pay every man according as his work shall be. Glory to God Almighty. So you got to be prepared to meet him. Hallelujah. Because what? The bread that you and I breathe in through our nostril, it just lend to us for a little time. So when our chapter close, it is close. Glory to God. But we will spend our long eternity. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. So today, I'm imploring you today. Glory to God. Make haste while the sunshine prepare to meet King Jesus. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. It's now time for the eulogy. The, the preacher said Lazarus was dead. But when Jesus came on the scene, he spoke to the dead body. He said, Lazarus, come forth. If you have a dead situation here today, the preacher is telling you that there is no situation that is too dead for our God to call forth to come alive again. Amen, somebody. So we are calling upon Mrs. H. Elliot. Good evening, everyone. I have to join with the preacher, which he said, if only, according to Paul in the scripture, if only in this life we have hope, then we are men most miserable. Look around us and see what is happening in the world. The hatred, the crime, the sickness, the heartaches. We are tired, tired of this situation. Hallelujah. When we love, if I love you, I won't hurt you. I won't covet. I won't kill you. Why can't we as a people show true love? Because love covers a multitude. I'm in law to Rocky. But I don't feel like an in-law. With this family, we are like sisters and brothers. Not just the immediate family, but the extended family. We are so closely connected that you couldn't tell that I'm not real blood and flesh. But we all are, because we are all God's children if we make Christ our choice. And we have that opportunity today. Amen. With that said, I'll just give you a little excerpt of who Raki was and where he came from. Charles Danny Elliott, also known as Rocky, Rocky to me, he was born on the 27th day of January. 1958. He was the third child of Eric and Esmeralda Elliott. He was raised in the quiet community of Glenbrook in Westmoreland, where he attended Teacher Cross Basic School, then later the Williamsfield All Age School, and later Williamsfield Primary and Infant School. Rocky, however, did not excel at an early age as school was not his friend. He left home at an early age to live with various family members on different, in different areas until he finally settled with his cousin Norman Forrester, who resided in, in Cave. For 35 years long, Rocky was in Cave with his cousin during the years, he developed a strong bond with one of his sisters, 
and his only sister, Sharon. They were like two peas in a pod. In 2019, things took a drastic turn when Rocky was always portrayed as a healthy, strong individual. He suffered a major heart attack and was admitted to the Savlamar Public General Hospital, bringing the strong, being the strong soldier he was, of course, he fought that battle and came out victorious. After being discharged, he spent two weeks with his family at home in Glenbrooks, and then he returned to cave to be with his cousin, Norman. But that did not change the bond that the family shared with him. In 2022, things took a rough turn and rocky cells started to deteriorate. And Sharon had to take on the task of informing the family that our strongest soldier was facing an unbeatable battle. He was in and out of the hospital. Sharon gathered her children and told them it was time to become caretakers for their uncle. But if you know Sharon's daughter, you know once you say hospital, they drop everything to show support, especially Nisi, who they call Taliban, by her uncle. But to other family members, she was called the ambulance. It means that she was the one transporting and looking to make sure the family get the kind of health care they needed. Maria took on the role of nurse and other times the driver. On November 23rd, 2023, he was again hospitalized in the Sav Hospital where the doctor broke the unexpected news to his sister that their beloved brother Rocky, to me, was diagnosed with an aggressive cancer which had reached a stage four. She was crushed, we all were crushed by this sad news, which she had again to deliver to the family. This was not well received. Everyone in the family, hearts were broken. Rocky was back and forth in the hospital, fighting for his life. He never gave up. Without fear, and always had a smile on his face. On his birthday, on the 27th of January, 2024, he spent it surrounded by his nieces, his sister Sharon, his brother Ricky. Little did we know that his time was drawing closer and closer. On February 6th, Surrounded by his nieces, Chrissy, Chrissy and Nisi, and his brother Edmund, Ricky, he succumbed to his illness. We were all saddened when we heard the news because we know that Rocky was not one to give up. My desire is that in the earth made new, I'll see him again. We know many people do not believe in God. But I know for a fact that there is a God. The psalmist tells us in Psalm 27, the Lord 
is my refuge and my strength. And he has been our refuge and our strength. Let us reconsider our ways. It's good to do good. Don't let anyone fool you. Evil cannot last. It might look as if you're going somewhere for a while. But evil is bound to fail. Whatever you can do to help now, let us do it with all our might. Let us love one another because love is of God. And love knows no hurt. My family, take heart. God is real. It is not a fable. He's real. Look around you and you can tell. No man can cause the trees to grow. The ones they make, they are dead. They don't grow. They don't produce fruit. And from the beginning, he said, everything after its kind. Man has man. We don't come from monkeys, because monkeys have monkey. So I know the scripture is true. I'm looking forward to seeing all of us in the earth made new, because God shed his blood so that we can have life and have it more abundantly. This is my few words. I hope we'll consider and make God our choice. Amen. At this time, we'll have prayer for the family, prayer of consolation by Miss Lilith Morgan. Praise the Lord. A pleasant good afternoon to family and many friends. I am here to do the prayer of consolation for the family, which I am a part of it. Because Rocky was one of my special cousins. So many people came up here and talked about oh, Rocky Carl, Rocky Carl, Rocky Carl, he was the phone. I am one of them too. Sometimes all in five o'clock in the morning, the phone rang. Rocky call. Miss Lynn, where I say? Me call you later. <laughs> Everybody can assure that Rocky will call you. Miss Lynn, where I say? We call you later. Me go in a bush later. Rocky was very special to all of us. And we watched Rocky go. I was one of them who was behind Sharon some of the time. Sharon and Lisi, may God bless you all. Amen. To the others, you know, but when he touched Sharon and Rocky, Sharon and Lisi, they were there for Rocky 24-7. And sometimes when Rocky called Sharon and he can't hear Sharon or Lisi, bet your life in they call me. If you find out what happened to Sharon or Rocky, um, Lisi, because he may call them, I don't hear them. So when I call Sharon, I tell Sharon, say, you know Rocky they call, but Sharon say, I have to rest sometime because Rocky knows that I know so hard. Anyhow, I'm here to do the prayers. So I'm not going any further. Almighty God and our Heavenly Father, this another day before your present, as we do come one more time, it is a sad occasion. But mighty God, we are depending upon you. You said in your word that we should cast all our care upon you because you cared for us. So today, Lord, here we are as family, casting all our burden at your footstool. And we know, Father God, for sure you will care for us. You said in your word that we should look to the hills from whence cometh your help. Mighty God, we know all help come from you. You, Father God, who have made heaven and earth. 
And so, Lord, we are depending upon you to give us the strength that we so desire. Father, we love Rocky, but you love him more than us. And so, Lord, we are asking all family members just to keep closer and closer every day to each other because Rocky was a family man. He was a man who loved his friends. And we could always depend upon him, God. But today, Lord, he is not around with us anymore. We have to make it on our own. And so, mighty God, we are asking that you will keep us strong. Help us to know that we are not alone. You are here with us to embrace us in time of trouble. You, we can run to you. And so, Father God, bless every family member that present here today. Bless all the friends that are gathered here. In the congregation, most of us are here, our family. Very close family. And Lord, we miss Rocky. And we are depending upon you to cover us under your blood. Help us, oh God, to overcome all the obstacles that lies in our way. But most of all, God, we pray that each and every one of us will surrender our hearts to you, live for you, ask ourselves daily, are we doing what mighty God required of us? And it's just we of our own self can answer that question. No one can answer for us. Rocky is gone. Many times I talk to Rocky by his bedside. I visit him at home. I call him on the phone. We spoke. I'm just saying, Rocky, you know the sickness. You have to depend upon family members. Yes, I know. Lord Rocky, we spoke to him about his soul. And today, Lord, if Rocky don't make it, it's not because we did not tell him about you. He knows about you, but it's our duty to preach the word to him. And so, Lord, we do not know. We none of us know where he is today. Only you, Father God Almighty, knows. So we leave all judgment to you. Let us not judge. Because some of the time when we judge, we judge wrongfully. So, Father God, bless everyone that present here today. And when we shall leave here, there are others that are here after the funeral, we'll be traveling to far, as far as Kingston. Lord, we pray that you will protect them. There are so many family members that are here from and abroad. Lord, we give them our blessings in return in home to their homeland in America. And so, Lord, whatever the situation might be, we leave everything into your hands because your hands, Father God, is the best hands. There is no other hands better than your hands. So today, Lord, have mercy and compassion upon all of us. Strengthen us as the days go by and help us to cling more closer to you because every day we see that things is getting out of hand. First time, Lord, we could only say that we depend upon you to our, in time of trouble. And we see that the troubles are rocking every day. But you say, Lord, in your coming we shall see all signs and wonders. And we do not want to see more than what we are seeing, seeing now. So, Lord, Father God, we are depending upon you because you are our only source. You loved us in a way, Father God, that you gave up your only begotten son who came and died on Calvary Cross. No sins of his but for the sins of this world. So help us to look forward. Look forward because your coming is at hand and your coming is very sure. Help us to make our calling and election sure that when you shall knock at our door, that is one thing we cannot put off. We can say, yes, Lord, here am I. I am ready. Father God, bless, sanctify, and preserve. And as the preacher preached today, Lord, help us even one word one sentence when we reach our home we can all meditate upon it knowing that jesus died on the calvary cross for our sins and so lord
have your way, Lord, in all of us' life. Nothing wrought but peace upon all of us and peace upon our nation. These are the mercies I ask in no other man's name, but in the name of the Father, name of the Son, and the name of the blessed Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to sing our closing song. I'm asking that the person that select this song will come and take the mic and help me to sing because it's the last song and I'm not going to sing alone. So I'm asking a family member to come and sing along. Amen. Amen. Yeah, man, you must have some good singers in the family. Come, somebody, come and take the mic and help me sing, man. You can't make me sing alone today. No, no, no. Somebody take the mic and help me sing. Amen. Some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the air Coming up to you and me Joy is ours to share What rejoicing that will be when the sun shall rise, any father to believe, the other in the sky. Oh, what singing, oh, what shouting, on the happy morning when we all shall arise. Oh, what's going? Of a seated death, rising from the, the jubilee that, that is just ahead, in the twinkling of an eye, changes them to be. All the living saints to fly to the jubilee. Oh, what singing! Oh, what shouting! Sing, singing in the Holy Ghost, how the heavens ring, millions will be joined in song, with them we shall be, praising Christ to ages long, heaven should be paid, oh, what singing, oh, what shouting, Shall I rise for oh, glory? Oh, hallelujah! When we meet our blessed Savior in the sky, oh, oh, oh what singing, oh, what shouting, and the happy morning when we hold shall I rise. Oh, what a wonderful freedom, glory 
glory to his name. I'm out of bondage. Now I'm into God's freedom. Redemption from it. Praise the Lord. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm on the master's call. Jesus took my heavy load. Now I'm on the glory road. I'm not sorry, 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 sweet to be in the presence of the Lord. At this time we'll have a vote of thanks from Ms. Ms. J. Parma Spence cousin. Pleasant afternoon to everyone. I'll be doing the vote of thanks. On behalf of the family of Charles Elliott, I would like to say special thanks to the following persons and institutions. First, to Miss Sharon, the sister of Charles, who took time to care for her brother. Her children, Maria, and Neville, the drivers, and also Nisi, the ambulance driver. They never said no to Uncle Rocky, as he was called by families and friends. Thanks to the fall. God bless you. Any unknown spent from the family? Okay, so um, the pearl bearers will come forward. Eh? Okay. So God bless you all. So head on to Kibo Hotel in the name of Jesus.
Life is a collection of moments. At Streamline Media, we help you capture and share them all. For all your live stream, photography, videography, content creation, and social media management needs, contact Streamline Media. We cater for all events, including weddings, graduations, funerals, parties, and much more. Are you ready to capture life's most heartfelt moments? To share your story and events with the world, call us at 876 918 3299 or 876 413 7734. Email streamline876 at gmail.com or visit us on all social media platforms at LFH Inspire TV. Streamline Media, capturing moments, connecting audiences.
is a collection of moments. At Streamline Media, we help you capture and share them all. For all your live stream, photography, videography, content creation, and social media management needs, contact Streamline Media. We cater for all events, including weddings, graduations, funerals, parties, and much more. Are you ready to capture life's most heartfelt moments? To share your story and events with the world, call us at 876-918-3299 or 876-413-7734. Email streamline876 at gmail.com or visit us on all social media platforms at LFH Inspire TV. Streamline Media, capturing moments, connecting audiences.